Welcome everybody back to Star Wars Squadrons. Um, last time we uh, played um, the Starhawk uh, kicked the shit out of the the Star Destroyer Overseer and uh, Baron Fell had to steal some um, Beradium missiles in order to use against the Starhawk later. So that's where I'm going to pick the story up off of. Twitch being Twitch as usual. Yeah, that, that makes sense, Galad. Um, so we're going to continue the story, but I am going to lower the difficulty to story mode just to get the ball rolling. Because this isn't one of my most popular streams. I enjoy the game, but I can see why it may not be appealing to uh, many of you. Um, but the sooner we finish this, the sooner we get to Ace Combat 5 cockpit um, only. So we'll go ahead and uh, hasten towards the suffering. Mission 9, Chaos Among Kala. Also, I've been skipping a lot of the uh, dialogue just because it draws out. And we're here for shooty shooty um, pew pew pew. <laughs> Let's fly. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, can't take off, so we go here. Hello, Sinvertus. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Madiri dockyards, and the overseer is almost back to full strength. Our That's only great. Obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times uh -huh. over. Just don't let it go to your head. I'm an Imperial so Squint Pilot. Ego gets issued with the uniform. Also, the re real reason why we're trying to draw Vanguard Squadron away from the Starhawk's dock is because we are the lead pilots of both Titan Squadron and Vanguard Squadron. We can't fight ourselves. <laughs> Our Baradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigate supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan 3, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Oh boy! Take this fast and brutal. They're gonna stick a squint pilot in a dupe. Fun. Or do we get... Oh, mission, I do get to have a squint. Fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice. Oh, we are definitely going squint all the way. Okay, let's... Uh, um, I'm actually going to go with the standard ones just for the range. Good choice. Fun equals pain. <laughs> Not for me, it doesn't. Um, we're going to go with... 
I do like the anti-starfighter missile. That will come in handy against Anvil Squadron. But we're going to need something that can uh, pack more of a punch against um, any hardened targets. So... The closest thing we can get to our Lord and Savior, RCL. And we're going to go with the Sensor Inverter. What this does, instead of uh, when we pop flares, instead of um, either outright destroying the missile or, um, you know, confusing it, the Inverter says, is basically the Uno reverse card. No you. And we launch that Torp back at the X-Wing that fired it at us. For the hull, we're going to take the dampener hull to slow the uh, hostile box. And engine, we're going to go with the propulsion engine. Too bad I can't put the 181st stripes on, but oh well. Hey, we actually get a proper carrier this time. A Quasar Fire class um, fleet carrier. Although in Legends it was mostly used by the Rebels. Out of range, huh? Okay. Fuel is the lifeblood of war. No fuel means no ships or supply lines. Just a slow, lingering defeat. Well, that was, uh, rather poetic. Yep, we're going to be rebels today. Because <laughs> normally it's the rebels that do the hit and runs. Hey rebels! Come up here! <laughs> I'm in your base killing your dudes. This is going to get interesting. <laughs> oh, there goes one! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Get back here. Nope. Okay. Nope. There we go. Ooh, a Corvette. That's what the rockets are for.
Thank you. This is Anvil Leader requesting immediate reinforcements to my location. Nicely done, Titan. They will feel that loss keenly. It's just a Corvette. They're not going to feel that loss. Yeah, I know I need to reach the target point, but ah, fuck it. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll head there. As soon as we kill this one, because it's in our path. What, you got one on I don't care. He's gone now. Alright, ready for some war crimes? We're gonna be killing civilians. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. This thing's actually pretty heavily shielded. An Imperial with a conscience. That's interesting. Hydrate, all right. How much lower can the Imperial sink? This is so precious. Oh, you have no idea how low I can sink. Let's press on when you're ready. These ships are no threat to you. You're right. They aren't. Hold them, Ed. All transports destroyed. Three's unstoppable today. Let's keep this going. Next objective is up. Hell hydrate! There we go. Take that resupply. And that's all they have defending Mon Kala. Mon frickin' Kala! And all they got defending it is a Nebulon B. How the hell is the New Republic winning? All right, shields are down. We're ready for them. Frigates taking damage. But you will take more. Tracking Anvil. They're headed back your way. Sending coordinates now. Follow me, Titan. Hold on, I'm not done.
Alright, now we can go after him. There's one. Ow, okay. Let's take out the second. All right, shields are gone. I'm going back to the Star Destroyer. <laughs> Oh wait, no, never mind, I got repaired. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ow. Oh yeah, targeting system, okay. Done. All right, no subsystems left to destroy. Gotcha. Uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, I, I know. I'm. And select objectives. Okay. Huh. All right, let's go back out. All right, kill it. Have a good one. My fire went ready. Um, I think she's dead. Funny how without conscience your whole crew is. We're the Empire! <laughs> of course we have no conscience! <laughs> Alrighty then. So we got all the things. We got complete the mission, complete in nine or complete in thirty minutes less. We didn't die. We destroyed the medical frigate and blew up all the transports. S rank. Let's talk. <sighs> do, do we have to? Fine. Make it quick. You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. 
That's the sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carroll needs next. Do, do you know how long the average life expectancy of a squint pilot is? It's barely even five missions. We're flying... We're essentially flying death traps with no shields. Are we ready to begin? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral I get a fly a raider? To help secure our victory. Oh, you, never mind. Titan Squadron will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Baradium assault, we must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the overseer to acquire Baradium enhanced munitions. Uh huh. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Baradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. Right. Okay. Well, let's see what Death Trap. Ah, uh, fuck. It's a dupe. Consider outfitting your bomber to handle new Republic fighters as well. Mr. As Torg briefing. Blow more shit up and be mean about it. Better once we're cleared to give you a radium explosives. Mr. Torg briefing. The only good mission is one where there's lots of explosions. So go out there and blow some shit up. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll have a uh, rotary cannon to do more damage. We'll have multi-lock missiles for anti-starfighter defense. And yeah, we'll have the beam cannon for uh, giggles. Um, we'll have the chaff, because it works. We're going to reinforce the fuck out of our hull, because <laughs> we have no shields. And we'll use the twin ion jet engine. Can we stop with the dick measuring contest and actually let's do the mission? Let's go! Destroy the missile launchers. Okay, well, that works.
fucking boom! <laughs> but yeah, I basically have a Gatling gun. No, I was kind of counting on it. Oh, that was fun. There we go. Um, there's the next swing. Thank you. Kaboom! See, the script writers had so much fun with this. All right, everyone, write down what you would, would say to your elementary bully if you could kill them. <laughs> I mean, you're not entirely wrong. So, always be prepared to duck. Okay, you guys want to see the beam cannon? Just gotta get in range. Let's just start to see a lock on. I'll start it up. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I like the beam cannon. For yourself, I'm slow as hell. James told me about you, Teresa. Violence follows wherever you go. Fostar, Haven, Hosni, and Prime, DeSevro, Moncala. Ow. Remember what side you chose. History has no sides, only survivors. Our shields will hold. Not if I have anything to say about it. Okay. Okay, there's that. Oh, hangers, huh? Hey, yeah, let's take out that hanger. If I could find it. You have my gratitude. There goes one hanger. There's another hanger. Could use a resupply, thank you. <laughs> All right, um, shield generator is, is there anything? Hello, Ace. Ow. 
I'm in a bomber, I can't really do shit about it. Get him off my tail. Hello, Star Crater. All right, have a have a good one. Thanks for dropping by. Not for long. Titan three, let's take them out. I've never doubted you. There's a hanger. There goes another hangar. You're welcome. I have believed. And the last hangar is here. <laughs> hangar go boom. Alright, no more fighters should spawn. And I just gotta kill the rest of the shield generators. Yeah, it's a good thing I have a reinforced hull because my wingmen aren't doing shit. Eyeball strain. All right, and Let's see here. Shields are down. Shields are down. The dockyards are How are the explosions so explodey? Um, rule of cool. Wait, we have civilians preparing to evacuate. They have no place in this battle. It looks cool, therefore it happens. That meridian is really working. Titan, finish what needs finishing, then regroup. All right, we're going to go ahead and regroup. Gorgeous, isn't it? So much for Project Starhawk. Captain, the rebels are evacuating the station. You came for the Starhawk, not civilians. Let them go. Kill those transports, commit the war crimes. Oh, 
How could I? I? I don't understand the question. I'm an Imperial. Those are rebels. So I kill them. Rebels. Ow, what the hell? Alright, we got more ammo. <laughs> yeah, well, I reinforced your hull, so you'll, you're fine. There goes one Corvette. Well, I'm in a bomber. That's what I'm supposed to be able to do. We've got all we've Happy hunting. We've uh, got the same rotary cannons, same hull, same engine and uh uh flares. But we don't have the beam cannon anymore. They replaced that with a projected force field. And we have Essentially, um, nukes. Now, Titan Three, attack the Starhawk. Do not let it get away. Starhawk, make your peace. Prep to Starhawk. We're leaving and taking everyone from the Nadiri dockyards with us. You've evaded the Empire long enough. Today, there will be no escape. Titan Three. General Simjula is aboard the Starhawk. Immobilize it, and the Overseer will deliver the killing blow. Making my sure. Right now. Just promise me you won't fuck it up. Uh, oh, wow! You're not done yet, what the hell? Titan, lead part of the but I can kill the ship! I still have missiles! Oh, 
Oh wow. <laughs> okay. I'm here now, Teresa. If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations. Fire on that ship. No, you idiot! Go after the Starhawk. Oh Jesus Christ. You idiot, you just arsenal birded yourself. <laughs> so it had all been... It all been fine if you would have let me f take the final blow myself, but no. You had to be the big alpha bitch and be the one to kill it yourself. Well, guess what? That didn't work out so well, did it? Alright, so we didn't get the efficiency medal, but we got the uh, body count, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Imperial March destroyed all of the Nadiri Duckyard's hangars, destroyed all of the transports, and we didn't die. So I'll call that a, a solid A rank. All right. War crimes empires need to die. <laughs> the Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? There Not if it clouds your judgment during a mission. I waited too long to let Linden slip away again. But you did. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Uh-huh. I could have killed it. You saw how much damage I was doing to it. But no. Hail Hydrate. <sighs> See, this is why the Empire is losing. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrilla. Chandrilla. They must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous star. And by this point in Legends, it was Coruscant. Isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. We <laughs> so don't blow them up when you're too close. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, a Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. Uh, you got a couple screws loose, but whatever. There is another. Oh, am I stuck with a dupe again? For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE bomber or a TIE Reaper. Oh, because that, you know what? What does the Reaper have? All right, we'll stick with the laser cannon. Um. Oh God. Yeah, no, we're going back to the dupe. That one I can actually edit or give it somewhat of an anti-starfighter capability. Do that and the beam cannon. All right.
Titan is outbound and advancing ahead of the enemy fleet. Excellent. Dismantle their fleet in the debris field. Yeah, it's on fire. The Starhawk into the Ringali Nebula. Squadron on me. We're approaching the junkyard now. This isn't just a junkyard, Varko. It's an Imperial graveyard. How many different destroyers do you think they left out here? And what did the Republic do to their crews? Doesn't Don't know. We can't change what happened. If I was in a Republic, I would have kept the Star Destroyers and pressed them into New Republic service. With all of these hulks to make one ship, they lost out on an entire fleet. Overseer, we've reached the target destination. But I'm just ranting at the idiocy that is cannon. Okay, that's active. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. How exactly are we rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. I mean, that is rather poetic. There we go. Yep. That's a broken one. Hydrate. Ah, oh, jeez. Fuck. Go away. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be flying for the New Republic again. Hail Hydrate, sponsored by the spam band. Bomber, what do you want? Oh god. They're in the blast zone. Yeah, I know, so am I. What? Enemy in position. Detonate the core. 
All right, fine. I detonate the core, I know, but I gotta... Well, there goes one Corvette! Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Let's get more aggressive then. We're with you. Enemy has a lock on me. That's Okay, there's that Corvette. One more left. Guess in this universe is equivalent of Cal, probably, for the moose. Corvettes are dead. Attack my mark. You're welcome. We'll be ready for them. Titan 3, scan more cores. We don't have much time to rearm our minefield. That's active. You're too close to the core. All right. Oh, wow, that's a lot of bombs. the unscanned core there. Oh, there it is. here I don't know probably not many like I said this is not one of the more popular streams that I have which is why I lowered the difficulty to easy so we can finish the uh, the playthrough faster and get today's combat again You'll be fine. I never doubted you. No good. Multiplayer. Um Eventually, probably. But it, it'll it won't be PVP though. Stop 
fucking assholes. Yeah, if they're in the blast zone at this range, I'm in the blast zone. Only one left. Finish it. Ow! Will somebody get this fucking fighters off my tail? Destroy the frigate. Come on, shield break! there the only way to stop the I don't know we could just kill it normally but fine we'll do it that way It's active. Nicely done. Frigate destroyed. 
Yeah, so am I. sound any more imperial hell yeah, hydrate uh. hey we got them all s rank no I don't want to do that most imperial you can get And then there's the Burning Hulk. Can't spell. That's all right. Can you talk? I can, but do I? Uh, fine. I want to fly things. Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms. Sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us uh -huh. the yards, I thought the temperance was done for. <laughs> Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are... Oh, wasn't that difficult, needed. actually. Like walking into fog. Better yeah, it's called the fog of war for a reason. <sighs> All right. No shit. We have the overseer behind us. And Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. I sense a hold your position till the monitor returns mission. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the commsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. Chandrilla! Empire spiders must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. It was really bad when the official Disney canon is having the same problem that uh, localization has with Alred. All right. Looks like we're taking a U-wing. U-wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter. No, you mean enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. Our dad. <laughs> Our dad. <laughs> Our raid cat. <laughs> All right. Um We are not taking Ion cannons. That'll be fun. I will take that. Want the hull reinforced. Actually, I think I do need the ion cannons, so we'll do that. Um, shields. Scrambler shields. 
Um, actually, no, we'll do resonant. And then... That. I don't even know how to pronou pronounce that star crater. <laughs> Smash his head in the keyboard. <laughs> Corvette docked. Vanguard, I'm in. Some mess in here. Stand by while I get this hub up and running. Just gonna go ahead and uh hey, point like broadcast hub works. Hail hydrate. So giving that a shield, because be quick. We have ties headed our way. I think the Empire has figured out what we're up to. Right here and ready to go. Oh. Uh. I knew I liked you. We're working on it. Oop, bomber. So not maneuverable. And it is kind of like a gunship, so I'll allow it. Working on it. Good looking out team. When you work together, the 
All comm sets are shielded. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. You heard her. Keep the empire off our comm sets. Shields temporary. Only until they get taken out. Find the dupes, find the dupes. Needs a shield. Giving you an extra shield. This thing maneuvers like an SU twenty five. Yeah, it does. It really does. I know what you mean. Gotta kill the jammer. Come on, a little bit. Yes! Star creator ever starts to type perfect sense will know his account has been hacked. <laughs> That's funny. Looks like our work here is done. Star Destroyer jumps right in front of us. So go, we're done alright. Um, I've been having to shake my head at the uh, incompetency of both New Republic and Imperial leadership. Okay. The temperance is 
headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sintola has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. We can't abandon it. Had a sneeze. Other people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it. But don't worry, I'll buy you enough time. Oh, that sounds like a guy that's, uh, The Empire is the king j of incompetence. Well, at least in canon, the New Republic's pretty damn incompetent, too. Still say wasting all those resources building the Starhawk. It's pretty incompetent. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk. Maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. <laughs> Hello? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. Got your message. <laughs> Same as squad. We got our little pencil necks. Good luck, Vanguard. <laughs> and may the force be with you. Minecraft anvil sound. <laughs> Clang. All right, we got them all. S rank. Uh, completed in 60 minutes or less, no deaths, no comm set death, and destroy the jammer in less than a minute. Someone needs to edit the name of Santa. Oh, we're back with the Imperials. I think we're actually closing in on the end of the campaign. Uh, what do you want? When I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. No, oh, that's not ominous at all. You're out there. Never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. So the Empire's not much for due process, are they? They're obviously guilty. Just shoot them and be done with it. Uh. Sounds like the Scottish government. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me, but he's wrong. So you're going to prove him right by doing something extremely reckless. The squadron will focus on our real target, the Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. 
But a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Speak for yourself. Complete your mission. And if you get Linden in your sights, strike him down once and for all. All right. What do they get me with? Or what do I get to fly? Titan squadron. <laughs> Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. <laughs> well, no, it's been on the run. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. There's no floating in space. The will not be easy. The rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Hey, if it's not Rogue or Wraith Squadron, it'll be fine. ...is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have Starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. So the blow a hole in the hull. Hey, guess what? It's not an ace combat mission mich or game without a tunnel mission. <laughs> Fly into the ship. has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon James So, get to the Starhawk, blow a hole in the hull, fly through it like a goddamn tunnel mission, and then blow it up from the inside, and hope to God I get out beforehand. Well, we're obviously going squint. Um... We'll go close in. Um, and cluster missiles. <laughs> Ace Squadron, or Ace Wars X Squadrons. <laughs> yep, exactly. Good luck. Strange old protagonist. We laugh in the face of tunnels is easy. Hell hydrate! Uh, that can's out. Give me a second. Titan Squadron is ready. On your order, Captain. I've come to expect nothing less. Alright, I'm back. The Starhawk is straight ahead. Hell hydrate. You got it. Whoa. Here. They keep saying that Anvil's such a great squadron, but it. I'm sorry, unless you're Rogue or Wraith, it doesn't matter.
Uh huh, sure. Is still alive, but it's on fire. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not good. You're still there? Just have to kill this last frigate. All righty. Flying about doing nothing. Diverting power to engines. Look, just get to the core and watch out for gravitational anomalies. Gravitational anomalies, huh? If you need to. But remember, the tight space will make that tricky. Don't forget to give yourself room to decelerate. Yeah. I'll I'll be fine. That's why I picked a squint. I've got engine power. Huh? 
Well, it's tractor beam. Hey, this looks familiar. <laughs> this is like uh, the ISEV. Yeah. AC7 vibes, exactly. Oh, God! Great. I'm gonna get launched out like a cannon. Woohoo! The Star Hawk's core has become a time bomb. Nothing can stop it from overloading now. Star Destroyer down. More of our people saved. And we're just getting started. All right. We're pinned down. It's in your hands now. Uh. Titan three. I gave you a chance at Foster Haven. I wish you'd taken it. Uh, come on. You haven't won yet. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Come back here. Stop preparing yourself. He did. Imperial ships, prepare to withdraw. They are refusing, Captain. They plan to eliminate the rebel fleet. Our mission is complete. Take us to light speed. Leave their star hawk to burn. Titan Squadron. With Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruin. Vanguard squadron. Um, um. Cue the uh, Imperial, Imperial March. Loyalty, duty, discipline, and ruthlessness, bloodthirstiness. We shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan three has been promoted to flight baron with full honors. <laughs> baron soon tear fell. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees. Well, that was kind of a downer. Reach the Starhawk's core in 46. Oh, I was so close to getting that one. Oh well. 
I'll take the A rank. Vanguard's back! Back again. Um, does this game have branching paths? Not really. You basically play two sides of the same story. Yeah, he blew up. You know he did the right thing. I killed him. I mean, <coughs> Fell did. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay. Great. General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room. Shall we? Yes, please. Let me get back to shooting things. <laughs> Blow it all up. Real meeting was under such tragic circumstances. Who are you? All feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials. But we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Alrighty. Thanks to your work on the Consats. Anvil Squadron Last fly of the Starhawk. And with Lyndon Jays bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. Anvil the squadron that just won't so die. The like Strigan like that. We need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable. And the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. <laughs> if we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest Star Destroyer. Oh, yeah. We have to take out a Star Destroyer. Okay. And if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. This will be fun. With that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. <laughs> Another outrun the explosion. Oh boy! Our fleet. And the engineers will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. So how many Star Destroyers are you going to need for those? Or are you going to finally make it efficient and worthwhile? Because, let me tell you, I th honestly think the whole Starhawk project is a waste of time, lives, and material. Just capture the damn things and be done with it. All right. Flying your best for this one. X wing, Y wing, U wing, A wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Okay, so we need our best. So we'll go with an X wing. We'll give it burst fire. Um, I don't get ion rockets. Wait, hold on. Do A-Wings get Ion Rockets? No, they don't. Let's see how we'll go with this. Uh, 
Um, the repair droid isn't as necessary. Um, so we're going to have rockets. Um, we'll keep the concussion missile for any anti-starfighter stuff we need. Um, we'll take the seeker warheads. For the hull... Uh, we're going to go dampener for shields. We'll do fortified and we'll use that for engine. All right, let's go. Shields to the front, reinforce. the shields out. Shields generator's gone. And then we're going to take out that. Yeah, he survived. Oh, there's a spot. Ow. Thank you. It's dead. Unbelievable. The Star Destroyer is out of the fight. Good job, everyone. Now, form up. What's next? Regroup with the Starhawk for stage two of the plan. All right, where is the map? Oh. Been evacuated. 
No, it hasn't. Don't worry, guys. Jay's took that uh, kamikaze run in a non-critical area. He'll be fine. <laughs> he crashed in a non-critical area. We're gonna use it as a giant bomb. Defend the Corvettes. Got it. Hydrate. Come on, hold together. Okay to fly, but not to fight. Oh god, I'm in a tractor. Fuck. Reaper. He took it in a non-critical area. How many times do I have to say it? Okay, that's one way of dealing with it. <laughs> he lost two, th two, three engines. Yeah, but he still has a fourth. You Reaper, go away. We have Thai bombers heading right for us. Let's get rid of them before we lose those combats. I'm working on it. Yeah. 
Cruiser. Oh, we're picking up an incoming Imperial cruiser. Stay alert. Huh? Take out those shields. Lost my uh, laptop again. Oh uh, well. Yeah, F. <laughs> Fuck you, Reaper. Fighters. <laughs> 